Hey there everyone, this is Yui. Welcome to episode 9 of Enigmatica 6 Expert. Today I want to upgrade bees. I'm tired of two per nest and I want more. So in order to do that we're going to have to get into the beginning parts of nature's aura. So uh, let's get to it. Saw a random zombie back there walking around with some nice shiny boots. But you uh, might notice I am kind of in the middle of nowhere. I was flying around looking for something and I found it. I also found a dungeon that looks very similar to the one that I am currently living in. But anyways, when you're out exploring, uh, along water lines, uh, mainly rivers I found, but sometimes coastlines, uh, like I found a bunch in these rivers here, these two or three or whatever. Yeah, all three of them I found some. Well, I say a bunch, but I, I mean like a handful probably. Uh, you'll find that. It's a chest with a mob spawner with a almost random block on top. That random block could be like brick, obsidian, a lodestone. So it's kind of random, but not not like totally random. But those chests there, they uh, generate some really amazing loot. And I don't know what mod adds it. I'm guessing it's Apotheosis. But uh, yeah, it, when you find them, get them. Hello. It's uh, I, I picked a bad time. That's fine. I get it. I've not checked this one out yet. But let's uh, let's go get it. Now, I like taking these spawners. Uh, this one is garbage, I would consider. I do not like silverfish at all. And uh, let's, let's see what we get. Yeah, see, you get... So that's why I think it's apotheosis, because you get spawn eggs and you get enchanting-related stuff. Silverfish? Really? But you also get uh, a fixed armor or weapons or tools. So, like, this one's uncommon, this one's common. Out of these, I was able to get an enchanting table. So, that's why I'm pointing them out. They are very good to find. Let's fly over this way real quick because we're going to set down a waypoint so we can get out of here. Yeah, this is definitely, like, the place that I set up. Which means there's going to be a bunch of piglin spawners in there. And here's the center where... Oh. Where the base would be. So nice. That's, an, that's a, yet another dungeon to clear out. Let's grab... Away stone. I need this book. Stop putting it away, please. And we'll just drop this here so we can come back. Now, uh, between episodes, I have done quite a bit. Let's head over to the first thing. So I set up a little miner. Let's move this out of the way right here relatively close oh I, I was flying around looking for that spawner setup but i've got a little miner here it is chunk loaded it is a uh, mechanical bearing with drills attached to a rope pulley and then it just uh goes in a circle goes to what is that oh okay that almost looked like stairs for a second But, uh, yeah, it's uh, collecting a lot of cobbly stuff, a little bit of ores. The, the problem is, well, it's clearly glitching out a little bit here and not where it says it is. <laughs> but uh, the center drill doesn't drill for me. So I manually drilled it down to bedrock 
And then uh, these last four drills also don't pick up the initial four blocks under here where it stops. I don't know why. It might be the radius is too big, too small. I don't know. To f so, like I said, to fix this one, I just manually drew, uh, dug down. And to fix this, I just put four more drills on the outside, and that picks up the blocks that it misses. So it's uh, it's working. The chest, though, they vanish depending on how you look at them, and it drives me crazy a little bit. That could be Optifine doing that. I don't know. You cannot check it while it's moving. It has to be stationary. But yeah, this is uh, one of the things I set up in the... Well, whatever you want to call it, between episodes video that should be out by the time this one is. Uh, let's grab a little more experience that I threw away. Oh, uh, where is it? We're off to a good start. There it is. Head back to base. The other thing that I set up all the bees have moved. They live here. So I can just quickly come in here, gather all the honeycomb. And there's more under the stairs here. But those are all basically full. And, uh, you know, I, I like collecting them. So uh, I might, might get more. But I definitely need to upgrade these nests. And in order to upgrade them, we need nature's aura specifically the gold powder the rest of these are just uh honey and honeycomb so that's not a problem but we need to get this is the first thing you get basically by putting the fiber on a tree like the silkworms used to do so here's my little enchanting setup since it's apotheosis it has extra stats uh this one's your basic power stat your so this will let you that, that's your normal one. Quanta is a little weird where it randomizes the min and max uh, well, power range. So basically, if you were expecting like, you know, unbreaking three, you might get unbreaking one to unbreaking five instead. And then uh, Arcana lets you get multiple enchants. And then there's also clues, which I haven't gotten yet, but... Uh, I think that lets you see other items enchants for that enchanting round. I don't know. But if we head up here, I've got a ton of rice. So I also set up the little rice farm. It's just, you know, harvesters on a little mechanical bearing and a little uh, inventory storage thing. Uh, you can hopper out of these, which is great. So you don't have to funnel with a belt. You can just use a hopper. And over here is where I'm going to set up the uh, Nature's Aura. Probably, if it fits. We might have to go upstairs for it. Uh, here, <laughs> you'll notice I've got torches coming through. Uh, they're going into a void drawer because... Uh, just because I don't want them clogging up storage. And torches can be used as fuel. So once I get anything that needs fuel, I can uh, I can use torches for it. Currently, I've got my dynamo generating power to power the pressurizer so that item transferring is a lot faster. But where are these uh, torches coming from? <laughs> So, uh, in one of those things I showed you just earlier, I got a pickaxe. Let's pull this off. It is an unbreakable pickaxe that, when right-clicked, will place a torch. For two durability, but since it's unbreakable, it takes no durability. So, I could just place a torch and... There you go, unlimited torches. <laughs> so, uh, these deployers can... I believe they can attack or right-click. So I, I, I think they can attack. When they're pointing, they uh, they right-click. No, not that. Here. There you go. So 
he just places torches down and then I've got a drill to break them and my ring is picking them up but then a hopper just to feed it into the belt and uh, that's where the torches are coming from so I've got <laughs> you know unlimited torches for whatever I need them for and they just go down here go in that drawer and uh, they slow down the ore processing but it's fine I think that's basically everything I did go exploring a little bit in a tomb to try to find Nebu ore and failed miserably, so I'd love to move that miner over using a uh, cart assembly, I believe. Uh, this one? Yes, cart assembler. And you can uh, basically pick it up with a wrench then after it's all built. Other than that, uh, not much has been going on. I did go exploring another dungeon in Undergarden to get a greater band of mana. So plenty of stuff for Botania when it's ready to start. Six mana bands right there. And uh, over two stacks of Blacker Lotus. That's great. But let's get started. So figured it out. Actually, you know what? Before that... Because I always forget. That's it? Oh, no. Okay. Um, really? Oh, well, we'll keep that and not use it because our boreal extractors are nice. More food, honey... Heart of the Sea, Butterfly, oh, Cosmetic, <laughs> and a shoot, and that's it. All right, let's uh, throw this on, and let's get started. Magic. So this is the next step. We want to get here. Actually, I, I want to get to the bees, which you don't even see here. So, Silk Moth Nest, and uh, this took me a moment to figure out because I was looking, I was looking at this, but now the recipes are swapped. So last time I was looking at it, I believe this was on top. So we just need Nebu Drops and Worms, and Worms we can get via a Worm Farm right here. So I've already made one. And I was playing around with it, so I figured out how it works. And all we have to do is feed it stuff that can compost, I believe. Does this compost? Is that... It does. So you put it down, you feed it, and then you just uh, pull them out. And you get worms. I don't exactly know what else these are used for they might be fishing bait i'm guessing maybe who knows but that'll get us that and that's the part i was missing finding this <laughs> and then we need a we need more nests so let's grab this stuff together let a grow string let's see here do i have it some string was it two and two what was it yeah something like that a couple worms what no I said a couple I thought nebu which I am running supremely low on I really need to get more. And then a nest. Let's get rid of uh, the grass one. And it takes, uh, what, 5,000 source, which is nothing. So let's drop it in and call it good. Well, 5,000 sources, half a, a source jar. But since I've got 
the rice growing, it'll probably fill back up pretty quick. And there we go. Now they say they're very invasive and uh, spread rapidly. I don't know how they spread. Do they infest blocks? Do they just breed fast? I have no idea. So let's just, just in case, do I have obsidian? I do. This is way overkill probably, but I'm guessing if they can infest blocks, they can't infest an obsidian, but th that's a guess. So I'm going to, let me, uh, let me redesign this room real quick. All right, we've got a little obsidian enclosure for them. That's it, nothing fancy. I'm going to use ethereal glass to get in and out. That way I could just walk in and out and they can't do squat about it. So uh, let's just, uh, I guess, drop this down and see what happens. And... Okay. Uh, I have no idea. So I guess let me watch it for a bit. Uh, use it to transmute a nest of bees into a nest of silk moths. Oh. Okay, so we need a bee nest, I'm guessing. Guessing? We'll find out. I do have extras. Unless it means the nest that was used in crafting, which it very well could. Well, let's just, uh, we'll try and see. Because if I hit uses, nothing. That's just how to craft it. Okay, here's a nest for you. Yeah, I, I think it just means, uh... I think it just means the nest that you used to craft it. Let me watch it for a little bit and see if any spawn or anything like that. So, uh, there's one of them. They don't seem to spawn very often, but they just pop out. And then they'll fly around for a bit and then occasionally pop back in is what I've noticed. I don't know if it's because this enclosure is too small. I don't know. Or if it's underground, but they do spawn, I don't think they're going to be a problem like the book makes them sound like. But I, oh, well, I got a couple that time. I killed one before I got one out of it. I just killed that one, which I just got two out of. So uh, we're good, I think. I guess I, do I actually need it for anything else? Uh, probably, actually, but, you know, I can gather it slowly over time. It, no rush. I only need one for now. So let's head over to the enchanting apparatus. And I've decided I'm going to just set the stuff upstairs. I went up there and I set a waypoint outside. That way there's plenty of room. All right, let's just make one of these. And that should get us the golden fiber. Perfect. Oh, well, brilliant fiber. And now we just need golden leaf. And we should probably check here. Okay, so we'll be able to do that. What did we get? 
item grounder. I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's any good or not. Does this have a, uh, a search? I don't know. We'll just toss it in storage for now. I should start making sushi. It looks like it gives you buffs. All right, let's head upstairs. I made an outside area. Let's uh, move that. We'll move fishing last. It's literally just straight above the other one. That way, if I throw in a tele or not a teleport, an elevator, the elevator will come up around here. So if I if I wanted to. I don't know. So we're going to set up down this way, I suppose. So let's just... Uh, can we infest this tree? Or does it have to be... Nope, there we go. So now it's a. Uh, it's like the silkworms from uh, Ex Nihilo. We just have to wait for that to basically uh, infest the leaf and spread through the tree so uh are those connected by chance they might be just in case they aren't because having more is better i just need a couple really but we'll take a bunch let's float up here And there, now they're definitely connected. And so that should get us a bunch of uh, golden leaves once we're done. Well, once it's done. So I'm going to uh, once again play the waiting game and wait for that to spread throughout the tree. So uh, this is going to take a while to infest these trees, but uh, since it's easy to tell which ones have already started turning because they turn into what looks like oak leaves instead of, uh, you know, these witch hazel leaves. Uh, what you can do is you can just grab it once it starts spreading, pick it up and just move it somewhere else. Or alternatively, you can uh, use more golden fibers. That way it'll start spreading here. And it's already spreading here, so it'll keep spreading here and start spreading there. And I moved some down here. And so I'm just spreading it around manually. I tried it with a comma to pick it up, but you cannot. You just get the golden leaf instead. So I accidentally completed part of the uh, quest line. But anyways, uh, let me just wait for this to go and uh, I'll be back. All right, uh, it looks like the tree is... Almost done. It's good enough. There's it looks like a block there and maybe some on top. I don't know. It's good enough. I've also taken a couple leaves. I put one over there and one over there just in case I want to make more in the future. I don't have to uh, make all the golden fiber again. So let's just uh, grab this. Yeah, that's that's going to be plenty <laughs> for a while, at least. Can I just? Yes, I can. Well, I guess we'll just cut down the tree then. Oh, yeah, see, there was a couple more right there. Oh, these are the ones I placed, aren't they? That's so weird. And that one. There, oh, geez. <laughs> oh, well, uh, there you go. That's what, nine stacks almost? Eight and a half? That'll work. And like I said, if I need more, there's some there. That'll spread the little. And, you know, I can always pull it and put it on another tree. Let's head back down, drop this stuff off, 
We don't need anywhere near that amount. I'm just going to turn a stack of this into dust because I know we're going to need it. And that means, you know what that means? Right away we, we can we can make the nest. Except I need grass. <laughs> I've not been uh saving any grass. It says I have grass? What? I do for some reason. That's weird. But it's easy enough to get. I believe we need eight of these. Or is it the dust? Yes, it's eight of these. So next up is uh, we're going to make the stands, which allows us to get into the rituals. Are they called rituals in this? Yeah, rituals. Which all of these are going to be weird because they're all going to be some sort of sapling. Then the eight... What are these? Wooden stands. And then you surround it with... Uh, with dust. I guess this is going to be first. Well, I say that, but I don't have that stuff. I really need to go find the uh, thermal mobs. Oh, look at that. Apiary. Except we need Botania. Okay. Oh, these. Oh. That allows me to do the spawner upgrades. Because there's nothing... Yeah, there's nothing super... Well, I need to go to the nether and farm those little wraith things. Are they wraiths? And gas it looks. Oh boy. That'll be fun. Let's uh let's go outside and craft this. I looted a bow. I added endless quiver to it, which supposedly makes all arrows infinite. So in theory, if I shoot it, it'll shoot a lightning arrow, but not consume it. I've never actually used this enchant before because I don't really use bows that often. It's honestly though, it's uh it's not like I need the arrows. <laughs> when you loot the under garden arrow, you get a ton of them. I've got over 300, so uh plenty. Let's just go up here. Get rid of that. We don't need you. Oh, there's more leaves here. Did I miss some more? That was a lot of leaves. That was, uh, what, 33 leaves there. I guess we're good then. Let's, uh, let's try this out. Oh, wait, while we're here, since I'm going to need a ton of it, give me that grass. There we go, so I can upgrade my beehives. That's for me. And take off our ring for a minute. Then we got eight, 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 and eight. And we'll see if this works. It does work. There we go. And I uh, specifically chose the living wood bow because it recharges its durability with mana. And since I have mana, because I looted it, this will work out. All right, let's let's uh, let's just set this up somewhere. So if I make an elevator, it's going around here somewhere because this was like three blocks offset from the middle part. So let's just set it up down here, I suppose. Let's see, do I have anything useful? This will work. Let's put it in the middle. Oh, that means going. 
Well, I guess I'll landscape real quick. All right, I've got a little area cleared out. So I want this just roughly in the middle in case we want to uh, chunk load it in the future. But basically what's going to happen is a tree will go, let's say here. Then it's uh, three. Something like, nope. There, okay. <laughs> and then we gotta set these guys up would be here, here. that plus the corners and there we go so it should be ready to use once we get a sapling that we need and nope this one's wrong there we go so it makes a little circle so we could turn that off we don't need that anymore so a sapling would go here the dust goes here and then the ingredients would go here every time and it'll use up this dust i believe so uh let's uh head back downstairs drop off some of this garbage i picked up clearing the way oh i wanted to eh, it doesn't matter i was gonna put bricks under the dust so I know where the dust goes in the future quickly but I've got some stuff here put this away and that away uh, we should craft this environmental eye it, it requires a few things I don't have but this will allow us to see the aura in the area if I'm not mistaken let's double check uh yeah, it'll display information. So the aura. The amount stored in aura bearing blocks. Huh. So do we have like a battery basically? It's been a long time since I played with this mod. But we need to make a few things. So we need a specter's eye. This stuff I have. Uh, this I do not have. So let's also make a market real quick. We'll just do one. I don't need red wool. That's for this tree. Emeralds I have plenty of and or can get more of. Is this going to spawn that guy? Uh, you can go... Hello. <laughs> Emerald Muncher. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty accurate. Emerald. So we should be able to buy most plant-related stuff from this guy. Uh, he actually doesn't need to be here because you can just use this. So if he dies, don't worry about it. And we're looking for this one. And we might as well reproduce it just in case. Just in case we need it for something else or if the wood looks good or whatever, it doesn't matter. It's like the, uh... okay, so we got plenty plenty we got one one extra <laughs> i thought it was more than that but okay well one extra is good enough okay so we got that for the ritual which is down here now we need the specter's eye which is easy to get this stuff i need to crush this first because i forgot we'll just Throw it in there. 
And yoink. Thank you. We'll take the uh, torch highway. Okay, so all we're missing is this phantoplasm, which is from a bell ringer. Craft a haunted bell to summon. So here's the haunted bell. It's from Create. It looks like we need a ton of brass. Do I actually have brass or do I need to make some? Good. We need one of them to be a plate. It, oh. We need one of them to be a plate. I missed it. Just zoomed by. Okay. A block, it said. One of these. And then it said... Placing it right above an open soul fire may cause side effects. Do I have one? If not, I know where there is one. So there's not one there, but there is one downstairs. I almost just fell in that lava. Let's grab this. And we'll bring it back up. Actually, let's just do this down here. Since there might be dark spots. Yeah. And I believe we need dark spots. And upstairs is lit. Place it how? Does it need a block to go on? Okay. And then... That's creepy. Do we... Uh, haunted by lost souls of nether. I light nearby. Oh. Interesting. So it's designed to tell you where the light spots are. Oh, that is so useful if you, uh, if you don't have the F7 thing. Okay, but that's not what we're looking for. Craft a haunted bell to summon. We have a haunted bell. So is it just a chance? That's the wrong haunted bell. <laughs> okay. Let me, uh, oh, I need to go steal a bell from a village and then any vanity item. So let me go steal a, a bell. This is the wrong one. All right, I've got uh, the stuff, looted a bell, any a tomb relic that's cleaned will work, and then ectoplasm from the wraiths. So let's throw that down, take off the magnet ring. This is a zapping one, right? Yes. And there we go. And then I guess we just use this. Oh, it's a boss. Of course it's a boss. <laughs> what? Oh! With it. What are you doing? Oh, lag. Oh, great. Stop. Get away from me. Well, 
before we uh There we go. And well, you're dead. One. We get we get one for that. Okay. Immaterial and missing power. Great. Oh, let's put that back on. And then it, it gave me gold as well. Oh, well, not going to complain. All right. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. We're good there. Throw it in some water. We'll put a bucket of water right down here. Oh, not there. Nice fail right there. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Get the compass. No, it's not a compass. It's a specter's eye. Reveals nearby hostile mob. Well, there's nothing nearby. I don't see anything on the map. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. So that looks like everything. Uh, I don't know if order matters, so we're going to guess it doesn't and just try it and see what happens. Okay, that's all the ingredients, and then the sapling goes in the middle, and then when this grows up, it should activate. So we're just going to... There we go. And see, it does use that up, so... I'll replace that with marble so I can uh, see it. Charm, and this should show us. So, yep, top left is the aura in the area. So we have to keep that balanced. Too much or too little is not necessarily good. And there's ways to do it later. But that's as far as I want to get for now. Other thing I want to do, after we drop all that off, uh, we should just keep that. In, in case I want to shoot lightning at things in the future. I want to get my uh, apiary. So that's going to be... Uh, I need the nest first, the nest upgrades. So I should have it all now. I gathered plenty of grass. Let's do that one. This doesn't matter. Oh, don't. Oh, too late. <laughs> don't use the dusty one. That's the most valuable one. I don't think I have. Oh, I. No, okay, I don't. Do I have beeswax even? I do. Let's make... It's wanted four. Okay, that's tier three. Honeycomb block. Let's see. What do we have that I don't care about wasting? Uh, let's do this sooty. I don't particularly need coal, especially with a torch generator. <laughs> oh, it's there. Oh, it's looking for that one specifically. Uh, let's try that again. All right, and then... Are there quests for this? Uh, bees. Of course there are. Uh, 
Oh, it's a little late. <laughs> I'll just end up crafting them again. It's not like having a second one's going to hurt anything. I'll probably set up more than one anyways. They only hold nine bees for the, uh, the apiary. Yeah. Oh, well, I also need that. Let's just get more honeycomb out. Compress you. That's six, so that's two operations worth. I don't know if that's enough. I don't have honey... Okay, that, that, and there we go, an apiary. Then I just need the storage, which is chess and a hopper. I don't know if I have any of that stuff. We'll find out. Nope, no hopper. Of course not. I've been using them everywhere else. And then actually, you know what? One more hopper. I, I, actually, we don't need a hopper for that. We can use the... Uh, the pretty pipes times two. Request one of these and one of those. And let's get a chest. Yeah, we'll do a chest for now. All right, let's see. So I think this goes here. Missing. Okay, so it doesn't go there. Where did I see the apiary? Oh, that was in the book. So not ground level. So ground one, two. Ground one. Yeah, it's one above, so that's fine. Well, let's just put the storage in and see. They just have it in the corner, glowstone there. I don't think that matters. Just here, sure. Oh. Why are you facing that way? How about this way? It. Oh, wait, did I forget the ceiling? did hang on all right i've added a cheap little marble roof for them and i've thrown in a couple oasis grass because i grabbed uh, some random bees and some of them were dusty so if we check this oh okay we don't even need to validate it anymore it just seems to work so i guess let's head out here and import that Import that. Click it. Oh. Okay, you can only have 
one of each type. Okay, that's fine. So that means I need to find, uh... One more bee. <laughs> there we go, we've got eight bees. Do they show? Not right now. And there's a storage, so what we can do with that is with the pretty pipes... We can just set this one to retrieve items because I don't have the extraction ones right now and I didn't want to make more. Alternatively, you could put extraction here. Uh, items exiting. So speed goes here. That way they come out here and go in here. In theory. So let me uh, sit here and wait for something to spawn, see if it's working correctly, and then we'll call it good. Okay, I figured it out a little bit, but the uh, insertion thing was not working. I think you have to um, you have to specify the items. So I'm just going to swap that out for an extraction, and that'll put it into this chest. So when we come in here, they only hold nine bees in this menu. Except uh, when they go inside the apiary, uh, they don't count towards that cap anymore. But what you do is, the lock thing, you uncheck it. And it basically unlocks it. Like this guy's unlocked, so he's been going in and out. And uh, it'll stay in here for a while. In this case, you know, another 10 seconds now. And then when he's done, he'll pop out in the world. So he'll pop out in a moment. He's the RGB right there. There he goes. And he'll put the honeycomb in here. And there you go. So when they come back in, they'll wait a while. And then when they pop out, they drop off the honeycomb, which will get piped into this chest. So I should be able to actually grab more bees and throw them in there. Since I don't think that's going to matter... It's just only nine can go inside the apiary at a time. But it should still allow, yeah, we can still import. Oh, except there's one of those in there already. So it's still not going to like duplicates unless they're outside, I imagine. But there you have it. So uh, that's an apiary. It's basically automating the honeycomb for me. So it'll all just go in this chest. I'm going to upgrade this to a diamond chest probably. Or if I'm feeling adventurous, I'll run a, a pretty pipe all the way down there to storage. Something crazy. Who knows? But anyways, uh, that's going to be it for this episode. I got what I wanted done, which was getting the apiary. So I don't have to manually collect the honeycomb every time. So uh, if you made it this far, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.